Hey everybody, how's it going? I have another review for you today, but before we get into that, let's talk about what's on my face because I always get questions. So I am wearing this mascara makeup. I've talked about it recently. I've been using it for almost a year and I love it so much. It's a cream-based makeup. Um, I have the Lip and Cheek Blush called Plum. I've talked about this on Instagram a little bit, but if you have any questions about it, feel free to message me on Instagram and I'm happy to color match you for your perfect color. So if you want to try it too, it's, it's amazing. I love it so much much and I have some videos on Instagram of me using the product so you can see that as well. I also have lined my lips with my Urban Decay Liar Lip Liner. I love this one so much I use it all the time. I'm sharing the new Editor's Pick collection for spring 2020 for Morgan Taylor. There's three shears and three creams. They're nice kind of blush tones and mauve tones and it's a really really pretty collection together and let's talk about them. If you haven't used Morgan Taylor before their brush is fantastic. It's probably one of my favorite besides the Essie Gel Couture brush and the new Essies have a good brush too. You don't have to do any cleanup because it just goes in the curve and the base of your nail so well and it's just it's just good and their formula is good and they last a long time too so if you haven't branched out and tried Morgan Taylor I would suggest trying them because I think it's a really great brand that doesn't really get talked about as much as other brands do okay so this first one is barely buff and it is this nice just kind of sheer light pink color it's meant to be a sheer so it's not gonna be opaque in one coat it's probably not even gonna be opaque in three I like to build it up to three to give it a nice color but you're still gonna be able to see your nail line but this is intended to be a sheer so you either like shears or you don't but it really does have a nice even formula with application and I did build this up in three coats for my photo I love these shears they are so classic and classy and every time I swatch them I think I should wear these more often because I really don't reach for them too much but this is a beautiful beautiful shade The next one I have is Call My Blush, and let's talk about how fun their names are for this collection. I love them so much. And it's this nice, brighter, sheer pink. It's gonna add a little bit more color to that nail. And again, I did three coats with this, and it does have that nice, nice, consistent formula where you apply it and it's quite even throughout the nail and it's not super patchy. And the brush really helps get that evenness too. It just works so well together. So again, it's meant to be a sheer. It's not gonna build up. One thing I do wanna say about these kind of sheer polishes is you want to make sure they dry completely between each coat you want to really wait because sometimes they can tend to pull on the sides of your nail a little bit and if you don't let that thicker part dry then it's going to kind of smudge and smear it and it might leave little clumpy spots if you've painted with sheer polishes you probably know what i'm talking about it's really important with shears to let it dry completely before going in with that next coat and these do dry pretty quickly the same as any regular nail polish and so it really doesn't take that long it probably only takes like two minutes for it to be completely dry between each coat depending on how thick you do it but with these um, shears I like to do a little bit thinner coats and I really like this one quite a bit This next one is on Cloud Mine, and this is one of my favorites. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful sheer peachy pink color, and it totally reminds me of a polish that I had in high school. I'm sorry, college. It was like a year after high school, and I loved it so much, and it was OPI, and I, I thought I remembered it being called Hawaiian Orchid, but when I look it up, that doesn't look like anything <laughs> that I am remembering, and I've tried to find it and tried to find it, and I just can't figure out which one it was. But anyway, this one reminds me of that, so I was really excited when I saw it because it does have more of a peachy each base. This isn't as vibrant as the one by OPI, but it's clo the closest that I found to it and it's so pretty. So it's going to give you a, even a little bit more color than that last one and it's going to be more of a peach tone. Again, it's a sheer, so it's going to take three coats and you're still going to be able to see that nail line a little bit. It really is beautiful and I love these shears so much. So this is one of my favorites from the collection for sure. This next one is I Speak Chic, and I love that name too, and it's this nice nude with a hint of purple. It's got a fantastic formula. Let me check my notes here. So this is gonna be opaque in one to two coats, and I think that's gonna depend on your application. When I was doing the live swatch, I think I did two, but then in the picture swatches, one seemed like enough, but I always like to do two anyway. It's got a really nice, consistent cream formula, and that purple tinge makes it a little bit different and kind of fun.
And the next one I have is It's Your Mauve, and again, fun name. And it's this nice pink mauve color. It runs maybe a titch nude, so it's really nice. There's a lot of these kind of mauve colors out there, and I think they're popular these days. I love it. Sometimes when I see mauve, I think of grandma. <laughs> I've said this before, but I like this one. I'm getting to like them more the more that I wear them, but sometimes when I wear them, I think, oh, am I starting to look like a grandma because I'm starting to get kind of old? <laughs> So anyway, I don't know. It's pretty, but I think mauves are totally in right now, and they've been coming back for a while. I actually have a lot of like mauve accents in my house. I love like peachy and mauve decor. Anyway, that's besides the point, but I think this one's really beautiful. And this is going to be opaque in one to two coats depending on your application. I did two for this watch. This next one is going Vogue, and it's my favorite from the collection. In fact, it's what I have on my nails right now. I think it's it's a nice mauve, but it has quite a bit of purple in it. I think that makes it a little more trendy and a little less grandma-y, and so I, I love it. I love it, and the formula is fantastic. I think you can get this opaque in one coat. It's got a really nice formula. I did two for this watch, but this was definitely my favorite from the collection. And I think you guys should pick this one up for sure. And if you haven't tried Morgan Taylor, please try them just for the brush because I really think you're gonna love it. Okay, so these are my two favorites from the collection. I've got um, Going Vogue and On Cloud Mind, that kind of peachy pink sheer. What are your thoughts on this collection? I think it's kind of fun. They did like a blush tone collection. It's very feminine and very appropriate for spring and I really like it a lot. Let me know if you've tried Morgan Taylor and if you haven't and if you're going to. So I'd like to know. Let's have a conversation down below. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.